Today I'm going to be showing you how to build this super simple and easy DIY bookshelf. The best part is, it's supposed to have an old rustic feel, so it doesn't matter if it has a few imperfections. For this first part, you will need rubber gloves, a piece of cloth, a jar of stain, a tool to get into the stain, a paintbrush, and some sandpaper. The type of stain I used was Minwax, and I got it in classic gray because that will match my living room best. So for the cloth, you'll want to use something without fiber so it won't snag on the wood. An old t-shirt would work really well for this. As for the sandpaper, you'll want something with a higher grit so it doesn't destroy the wood. Anything from the 100 to 200 range will suffice. I also found that using a paintbrush specifically made for stain was a lot easier. And be sure to have multiple gloves because this project tends to get really messy. Last but not least, you'll need a few of these wooden boxes. I found mine at Michael's for $10 each, but you should be able to find them at any craft store. After you have all your supplies, you'll need to figure out which positions you want your boxes to be in. There are a lot of different ways to stack them. For instance, you can have just one box and hang it on the wall for something like DVDs or decorations. Or you can stack two and have a smaller bookshelf for like maybe a children's room. Depending on your space, you can have four or six horizontally. Or you can stack them vertically to create a more narrow shelf. For the space in my apartment, I decided I'd stack them three boxes high for a more vertical shelf. Before you get started, you'll want to set your boxes on a flat surface with something like a towel to protect your surroundings from the stain. So now it's time to start sanding the boxes and smoothing out the finish. Be sure to go with the grain. Once you finish sanding, use a cloth to remove any excess dust. It's time to start staining. I found it was easier to pour the stain into a separate glass container and just work with a small amount at a time, but you can just work from the can if you wish. Just be sure to mix it first. Be sure to apply your brush strokes in one direction, going with the green. By the way, you might want to wear some old clothes because this stuff is messy. Once your boxes are all stained, you'll want to let them dry overnight. It's now time to screw it all together. You can use nail glue for this part, but I ended up just using a screwdriver. For this next section, you will need a level, screws, and an electric screwdriver. Before you start, choose one box that looks best. I know this sounds weird, but once you've chosen the box, Turn it upside down and put it on the bottom. Then you will stack the two remaining boxes on top. Next, make sure the boxes are level on top of one another. Once they're level, you'll want to make sure the screw goes in diagonally. We found it easier to keep the boxes from moving by clamping them together with a wrench. Once you've applied the first screw, go in and add screws to the three remaining corners of the box. Once you've added all four screws, stack the remaining box on top and do the exact same thing. Make sure the box is level and screw in all four corners of the box. When you're done attaching the boxes together, go ahead and flip the box right side up. You'll notice that now the best box that you chose earlier is on top, and the screws are now hidden because they are on top of the boxes. Do the exact same thing to the remaining three boxes, attaching them together. Choose the best box, put it on bottom, stack the other ones on top, and screw it together. Now you will have two separate looking shelves with three boxes each, so it's time to attach them all together. You'll want to lay the two boxes horizontally on top of each other. Again, make sure they are level and clamp them together if it's needed. 
This time we'll only use two screws per box. Apply a screw to the right front corner and the right back corner of the first box. You'll then do the same thing to the middle box and the last box. Once you're finished applying the screws, you can rotate the box right side up again. After this, go back and cover up any spots that you need to with stain and let it dry overnight. And voila! You are finished! This is such an easy way to create a bookshelf. I just tossed in a couple of baskets and lined it with books and it becomes such a unique piece that you can add to your collection. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to subscribe for more book ideas and book talk. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!